winning an international poetry award was one of the I would say most exciting, memorable things that happened to me. I've always loved poetry. I've always written the odd poem, written poems for my friends on their birthdays, anniversaries, or any special occasion. And then I entered a poetry competition, my very first poetry competition. And I was so surprised. <laughs> I was so surprised that uh, it won an international poetry award. Okay, and so after the award, this is what this is what I wrote. Not good enough. How often I've been reluctant to share my gift of poetry because I thought it was not good enough. And many a time I have written on any surface I have found, putting it away as another task completed. But why will this gift not leave me alone? Like that delicate flower that caught my attention and became a symbol of what I do. It is delicate, close to the ground, but has a beauty all its own, appreciated only by those who will take another look. And so I hope that in taking another, another look at what I write and share, you may find a beauty that smiles back at you, though it be close to the ground. Thank you. And this next poem is, There comes a time when no man can work. Perhaps what I do is not what I've been called to do. There is so much I would like to do, but I find I'm restricted, sometimes even stopped in my tracks. The desire to keep working remains strong, but my energy levels are low. Taking stock helps me to appreciate what I have already done. It may not be much in the eyes of some people, but my accountability is not to them. It is to him who ordained the days of my life. The best things I have done or achieved were not intentional, except when I have recognized the unique opportunity I've been offered. Taking time off and looking back makes the way forward clearer. There is such a thing called retirement. Yesterday, I laid a foundation for today. If the foundation I laid is strong enough, it will continue to sustain me tomorrow. Because there is a day when no man can work. Thank you.